welcome learners this is the third video lecture on managing marketing channels so in earlier two video lectures i have discussed about uh, like what is marketing channel then what are the different types of marketing channels then how we need to design these channels and in this video lecture i'll be discussing about wholesaling and retailing like wholesalers and retailers are two very important members in this channel like they are the two most important uh, like your intermediaries and then at the end of this video lecture i'll be discussing emerging trends in channel management so first i will start with wholesaling wholesaling includes all activities involved in selling of goods and services to those who buy for the uh, resale of or for business use like a uh, wholesalers are those persons who purchases the product in bulk quantities from the manufacturer or from the distributors and then they sells it to the uh, retailers in a smaller quantity so what are the basic characteristics of these wholesalers first is a uh, wholesaler play a very, very important position in a channel of distribution he or she assembles the goods from different sources for the retailers to buy then wholesalers uh, does not sell to the ultimate consumers as i already said like they sell it to the retailers and retailers only sell it to the customers and normally wholesaler sells in large quantities like uh, as a single consumer we don't require 100 packets of toothpaste but the retailer requires 100 packets of toothpaste just for example okay so what wholesalers do wholesalers sells in bulk quantities compared to the retailers then uh, what are the services they render to the manufacturer wholesaler act as an intermediary between the manufacturer and the retailer because manufacturer uh, cannot meet the okay, hundreds or thousands of retailers so like they works as a bridge between the manufacturer and the retailer wholesaler reduces the cost of storage and cost of delivery of the manufacturer and the wholesalers offers financial support to manufacturer by timely payment and they provide market information to the manufacturer like whatever information they gets from the retailers they convey it to the manufacturer and what are the services they renders to the retailers one is your uh, wholesaler keeps large stock of varied goods for retailers then they provide quick delivery of goods to the retailers because it is not easy for a um, okay small retailer to like uh, purchase small quantities from the manufacturer so instead of going directly to the manufacturer or the uh, distributors they goes to the wholesalers and wholesaler grants credit to their payment uh, to retailers so for their permanent retailers they even offer some kinds of discounts so those uh, were like different functions that perf uh, that is performed by wholesalers now we will go to the retailers so uh, what is retailing retailing involves the sale of a merchandise from a fixed location for direct consumption by the consumers like from wherever consumers goes directly and purchases the good that is your retail outlet retailers take a title organize the availability of merchandise on a large scale and supply them to the consumers on a relatively small scale like uh, we can purchase a single unit of any kind of products in the process they provide accessibility of location and convenience of timing size information then display and other support also they provides to the customers there are different types of retail outlets so just look at your neighbor hood places you will see different types of retail outlets are there even in assam so uh, i have assorted here uh, some of the different uh, types of retail outlets we will go one by one first is your specialty store this kind of store has narrow product line and with deep assortment like suppose for example a clothing store like where only uh, ladies garments are available or maybe only kids store like where only kids products are available so this is called as a specialty store then comes our department store this kind of store has several product lines typically clothing home furnishing household goods so uh, like where you will get different kinds of products in one outlet that is your department stores then comes the supermarket this kind of store has relatively large low cost low margin high volume self service operations 
designed to serve total needs for food, laundry, household, all these things. Suppose uh, in Guwahati itself we have big bazaar, then uh, trends. So all these are your kind of supermarkets. Then convenience store. Convenience stores are generally uh, like this kind of store has relatively small store located near residential area and it opens for uh, long hours and carrying a limited line of high turnover convenience products at slightly higher prices. Like just our uh, next door uh, small okay, retail outlets, small stores where from where we can purchase matchbox, we can purchase bread, butter, all these things. So those were our convenience stores. Then comes the discount store. This kind of store has standard merchandise sold at lower prices with lower margin and higher volume. So this store provides the product at lower cost. Then off price retailer. Here the merchandise brought at lesser than regular wholesale prices and are uh, sold at less than retail market uh, price. So these items are generally like leftover goods like um, suppose rejected products from export all these kinds of uh, like your products are okay, say, sold under off price retailer then factory outlets factory outlets are uh, owned and operated by manufacturers and normally carry the manufacturers surplus discounted and irregular goods then comes our independent off price retailers so independent off price retailers are owned and run by entrepreneurs or by divisions of large retail corporations. And another form of retail outlet is your hypermarkets. Hypermarkets are large stores which combine supermarkets, discounts and warehouse retailing all these in one roof. Now we will discuss about the emerging trends in channel management. Like uh, from last few years, uh, we have observed that like there is a change in the trend of this channel management. There has been a big quantitative expansion in distribution channels in India during past few years. So with the increase in competition and the advent of uh, buyers market and now like our retailers uh, and all these channel members they have become much more educated compared to earlier stage. So like there is a change in their pattern and behavior like dealers are uh, asserting themselves more and more liberal credit, free replacement of defective sets, then incentive schemes uh, to best selling dealers, all these things have uh, like came into the market. As a matter of fact, today in many business, companies do not have much choice in selecting dealers. Dealers have become choosy of manufacturers they would represent. So another uh, like noteworthy development in distribution channel is non-traditional channels have become popular in many business. A whole range of new market uh, institutions, market intermediaries have also emerged partly displacing and partly coexisting with the conventional system. And nowadays this online marketing has also become very popular and because of which also the channel uh, strategies have changed a lot. So uh, I have came to the end of this video lecture. In this video lecture uh, we have discussed about wholesaling, its different functions and then we have discussed about retailing, then different types of retail outlets and at the end of this video lecture we have discussed some of the emerging trends in retail business. Thank you.